The Pringles dude. <laughs> yeah, the guy that invented the Pringles can. I thought this was a joke, but uh, it happened. The, the guy that invented the Pringles can doesn't seem like that's a great... They're saying it was his greatest invention, but it doesn't look like there was much to it. No, it's a cylinder. Cylinder that kept chips kind of fresh. Yeah. Big deal. Well, he's a, he was a Cincinnati chemist. He invented the, uh, the Pringles potato chip can. He was buried in one. <laughs> well, that's I hope you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be the trick, right? <laughs> Shove him in there. <laughs> R- relatives revealed yesterday they honored Frederick Bauer's bizarre last wish and buried part of his cremated remains in a Pringles can. Uh, Bauer was so proud of the tube-shaped container he patented in 1970 that he wanted one to accompany him to his grave. The retired or- organic chemist and food storage technician died May 4th, 84 years old, blah, blah, blah. He also invented frying oils really so we got him to thank for all our heart problems out there and also he invented freeze-dried ice cream but nothing came close to the crowning achievement of his pringles can his children said jimmy you think it was all about pringles cans with this guy you think every christmas every gift was in a pringles can you just see everything wrapped up that round stupid cylinder <laughs> enough with the stupid round cylinder with Dad. the sides because there's no good way to wrap something like that so the sides are like right. i don't know full they're twisted yeah. like a tootsie roll right <laughs> We get it, Dad. You invented the Pringles can. Yeah, great. Why do I have to bring my lunch to school in one of these dumb things? All the legs on the chairs are Pringles cans. And <laughs> right. This house, it's just everything's a Pringles can with this jerk. There's <laughs> a mustache like the man the can. Yeah. The Pringles mustache man. <laughs> this picture of a log cabin, but made out of Pringles cans. Pringles cans. This guy, all he thought about was Pringles cans. He loved them. He's creep. They probably had to eat potato chips every meal. Come on. Get him out. Clink, clink on the plate (laughs) as he opens up his Pringles can. Look how they all interlock with each other. That was my idea. Clink, clink, clink on the plate. Yeah, birthday cakes. It's just a Pringles can with a a bunch of Pringles and a candle. They're like, oh, again. This is great, Dad. When am I moving out? The first year that he did it, they probably, 1971, they were like, ah, it's kind of funny. Dad brought us a bunch of chips with a candle. Right. You know? But by, like, 1988, they're like, we hope you die soon. <laughs> Enough. We're tired of Pringles. Squeeze you in this can. We hate the word. We hate the can shape. We hate all of it. <laughs> we hate everything about your stupid invention. It's all you're good for. Well, now he's burned. 